So I gotta ask you, is this just another nice day in the Great North? Oh, yeah. definitely, yeah. definitely. Yep. It's the only place where grown adults can wear snow pants. Yep. And fit perfectly <laughs> in, right? right? Definitely, definitely. Yep. So how do those who live up here in the far north handle that extreme cold? I mean, they seem to be out in it like it's no big deal. Well, to find out, we're at Northwest Outlet, and we're going to ask, what do I need to go outside when it is freezing? All right, well, when it's really cold out, you lose more heat from your head than you lose anywhere else. And so having a really warm hat, and especially up here in the north when the wind's blowing, having some sort of face protection that you can pull down makes all the difference in the world in keeping you warm and comfortable. And This one just tucks inside, but headwear is really important in this cold weather. I, uh, okay, how does this look? Because I, I feel just a little silly in it. I, uh, you look a little silly. Oh, then I guess it's perfect. Okay, our head's covered, but now the other thing that gets cold the fastest is our feet. Because when you're outside standing on cold ground, that cold is going to come through the bottom of the boot faster than anything. But having, uh, having a warm, well-insulated boot, these type of boots come with different um, weights of uh, Thinsulate in them. Makes all the difference. We have boots like this with a warm... Let me get it out of here. Maybe I'll get it out of here. This boot has an inner liner in it that's foam with special insulation, reflective material. That really keeps the foot warm. And they even have this little thing in the bottom of them that the frost will collect in. And then when you take your liner out at lunchtime, you go like this, knock the frost off, and you've got moisture control. They work well. Okay. Okay, so does this one work? Not quite so bold, subtle, black. You know, like the perfect black dress, black cocktail dress, black hat. Does it work? Here, These are what we call Norwegian disco bibs. And uh, these are med made for the winter time. This is a medium weight insulation, but they insulate them all the way up to the chest and through. They've got full length side zips so you can pull them on and off through your, uh, or with your boots on. Nice zipper access with a two way, two-way zipper but these make all the difference on a cold cold day because they cut the wind and the heat from your legs comes right up through your chest area okay so what do you think I need for gloves with mittens mittens these are these are very very warm these are uh, felted mitts mm -hmm. made in Michigan slip your hand on here okay. but I'm gonna go get something else too nice match to your jacket too. Ooh boy these are nice and warm Go back to my youth. Have and another part is is layering not only when you're wearing jackets, anything like that, but also your hands too. So if you would put your uh, smart wool liner, which right. is a merino wool liner glove, mm -hmm. slip those on. Okay. And then. Ooh, those feel um, nice. Yep. Really nice. And then slip your and hand then the into fun, your mitts. Fun mittens. Yep. Yep. And that would. That should, yeah, that, that should do it. That should do yeah. And then on a real cold below zero day, mm -hmm. you could add a hand packet hand warmer that lasts six hours. And don't forget, our dogs need some protection on their feet too. Something we can learn from the sled dogs is doggy booties. Come on, Ty. Come on, let's go for a walk. What a good boy. You know, the temperature is going to be like 26 degrees below zero, but the wind chill is going to have it probably 50 below, maybe 60 below zero. And Mike thinks he's going to freeze, but he's going to be one hot fella. And I am one hot dude. I mean, I am really warm. I got these long gloves on. I got a parka on, of course. I got heavy, thick uh, uh, boots. I've got the uh, socks. I got my bibs on. I have my face mask and my hat. And uh, it's well below zero, but I'm about as comfortable as it can be. Reporting from Northeast Minnesota, I'm Mike Wendland, road trekking across North America. Thanks for watching.